Welcome back and thanks for tuning in to Morning Live. Now, it could cost up to 1 billion rand to fix the South African Revenue Services IT infrastructure. And this follows the halt to the SARS modernization program that uh, ended abruptly in 2014. And this, of course, after suspended Commissioner Tom Moyane took over at uh, the Revenue Service. So to clarify this matter and also to give you and I a better understanding of what all of this actually means, I'm joined from our Pretoria studios now by SARS Chief Officer for Digital and IT, Mamete Makeke Mokwane. Thanks so much for speaking to us this morning. Thank you, ma'am, and good morning. So if we could perhaps just start uh, by explaining to uh, lay people like ourselves what exactly this modernization program entails and why it was halted. I joined SARS uh, about a year ago and of course my understanding of, of modernization is to automate uh, processes including how people do things so I'm not in a position to answer how it was and why it was halted so um when it was halted, was there any explanation given as someone who heads up, uh, you know, the IT division works in that division? Were you given any reasons as to why there was a need to halt the process of modernization? Ma'am, let me just repeat. I said I joined SARS in 2017. Modernization started in 2007. And I joined SARS in 2017 and from time to time organizations take time to look how they are operating do you insource do you outsource do you centralize or decentralize i'm not in a position to give that answer so what we understand now through reports is that um this particular uh, halting to that process could cost the taxpayer around 1 billion rand to fix the e-filing system. Is that correct? That is not correct. So what, is the, what is the correct characterization of what the problem is now? Uh, e-filing is, is working. It's fully operational. We want to encourage our taxpayers to do e-filing conveniently and wherever they are. The problem is that uh, we have not had necessary budgets to upgrade our systems. And why is that? So we are almost on the verge Why, why is what? Why is it that you haven't had the necessary uh, budgetary input to actually continue with the process that you had embarked on? I'm not in a position to answer that question, ma'am. We have put enough submissions to the Treasury to say that our infrastructure is uh, aging. We have sufficient evidence from a number of our providers, be it switches, uh, our mainframe, and so on and so forth, to say some parts of our infrastructure are going to go out of maintenance and support. So what has been the response to that submission that you have made? Um, I think the commissioner would be able to answer that much better. As far as I'm concerned, we have not had that budget. So, so at the moment, what we're doing is, is to make sure that whatever uh, is dying tomorrow, we put up, make, make sure that there's a backup for it. Uh, you know, 
Andre Rabi, and he's, of course, the executive of IT systems at SARS um, uh, he, um, IT strategy. And he told the SARS Commission of Inquiry that the system was functioning at around 20 percent. And this was cause for concern. So do you concur with that? Is that the situation? And what should we as taxpayers be concerned about in that regard? Um, I'm not going to comment on what people say, but I'm going to confirm that uh, if filing is reliable, I uh, would want all taxpayers to go online and use e-filing as opposed to going to our branches. As far as we know at this point in time, especially me, as the chief officer of the digital uh, information systems, um, we are still reliable. Yes, we have a dead block, but for now, please use e-filing and make sure that you e-file before the end of October. But we are even open on Saturdays. Your the, the, uh, your executive for IT strategy is saying that that particular system, the e-filing system, is not at optimal functionality. He says it's functioning at 20%. So the question I guess I'm putting to you more pointedly is this. Is e-filing on the verge of collapse or not? Definitely not. Let me explain. Um, currently, e-filing and the e forms are, are using Adobe, okay? Now, Adobe is getting out of support in 2020. We are trying to move all our, what, what you'd see on your paper forms. We want to put it on a digital platform and using HTML5 as an example. So nothing is going to go down, except the fact that, of course, as a taxpayer, when you want to use our systems, you see a warning that says, are you sure? And, and that scares uh, taxpayers. And I want to say here and now that we are quite confident that uh, if I link is reliable, we are going to change from Adobe uh, to HTML5 and it shall be business as usual, as usual but, and we are also going to enhance it to make it user friendly, uh, to make it convenient so that you can file wherever you are, be it night or night, night or day. So, uh, Ms. Makeke Kuane, are you therefore saying that Andre Rabi was lying to the commission when he said it was uh, functioning at 20% uh, functionality? Ma'am, I cannot respond to that question. So, what level of functionality is that system operating at at the moment? Uh, we have achieved 99.6% uptime. But what does that mean? Uh, he says it's, it's functioning. Our, uh, it's, it, 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 it's all... No, continue. Excuse me? Continue. Yes, I'm saying we have achieved 99.6% uptime so far and for quite a number of times. And that much is going to be there. What we are talking about in terms of changing the, some of the function, functionality of e-filing uh, does not mean that uh, e-filing is going to go down any minute soon. That's not going to happen. All right. Uh, so that questions then uh, the submission that Mr. Rabi made to the commission. But uh, further to this, um, we understand uh, from some of the reports and what people are saying that the company at the center uh, of this in some way, uh, Gartner, they still possess the blueprint uh, to rectify the problem. So 
Are those blueprints not with SARS as we speak? Can you say that again? I'm saying Gartner, we understand, is the company that holds the blueprint that you would need to rectify the problem that currently exists. Is that correct? And if so, why are those blueprints not with SARS? Um, I would like to repeat that I joined SARS in 2017. But this is a current problem. And the work that Gartner did... No, no, I, I'm listening to you and I'm hearing you. All I'm saying is that uh, Gartner did a diagnostic of what could be a problem and made, made recommendations. I am sure, ma'am, if you get into an organization as big as SARS, you would also can't then turn the Titanic around. You can't. You want to take a step back, uh, understand what the issues are, uh, get adverse, and so on and so forth. So I'm reading a story in the uh, Business Day this morning and um, uh, Judge Newton's report, it says, also says that uh, the Bain restructuring has uh, displaced about 200 managerial employees from their jobs. Is that correct? I can't answer that, but I think it makes sense. Um, but, but why can't you answer it? Because this is as a result of the implementation of a certain IT system. And has it had the effect of actually uh, displacing some workers within the system? Um, let me give you a scenario. Organizations... Uh, evolve from time to time and uh, they consider amongst others um, insourcing outsourcing uh, you know centralization versus decentralization and so on and so forth and I can go on about uh, the fact that Outsourcing so far has been about cleaning services and uh, security people, which are black people. I would want to insource those people at the moment because uh, the, their children would benefit from a SARS uh, bazaar system. Mm, but, so but, but talking when, about when, the when, IT restructuring... When, when, Ma'am, can you give me protection from yourself? <laughs> <laughs> but we're talking IT restructuring. Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, let me just ask you a final question. I'm listening then. To you. A final question is: What is your assessment right now, as you and I are speaking, about the state of SARS's IT infrastructure? Okay. Um. The SARS IT infrastructure has aged. Most of it is uh, about to be end of life and out of support. All right. So we'll leave it there. What we are saying is to request that uh, we get the necessary support in terms of uh, resources, financially, human resources, and so on and so forth. All right, uh, we thank you so much for your time. And uh, that, of course, a representative from SARS, um, Mamate Makeke Mokwane, and she was talking to us about some of the issues that have been highlighted uh, through the SARS inquiry. Also talk about the e-filing system that is allegedly on the brink of collapse and SARS clarifying that uh, to a certain extent that it is not the case. Well, we're going to take a short break.